Personal brand is a hot topic, but a lot of students don't understand what it really means. Although I can imagine that certain business class examine the subject, most students go all of undergrad without learning how to market themselves properly. What's up, everyone? Welcome back. If you're new here, I am Aditya Mulkuri, the host of Tech Podcast, the great feature for your bright future. Today, I brought you. how to build your own personal brand as a student or you are a young person or you are a teenager this is for you jeff bezos defined the term by saying that your personal brand is what people say about you when you are not in the room if you are in university or in schools then your classmates and fellow interns definitely talk about you when you are not around in personal branding is how you influence and curate their opinions Your personal brand is everything that shapes how people view you including your friends, colleagues, professors and future employers. If you wore a snazzy three piece suit to a job interview, when that would have be a positive impact on your brand. Conversely, if you were always 15 minutes late to interviews, then your brand would suffer. Your personal brand includes the Google search results attached to your name, all of your social media accounts and your CV. These are key components of landing an interview for your dream job and thankfully for you they are easy to improve you need to curate a social media into a blend of your unique personality and themes related to your future field of employment if you are studying engineering then you would benefit from linkedin updates about winning engineering competitions in contrast a building pr professional could build their brand through tweets image Image management crisis in the news. Here are the major steps involved in building a personal brand. Firstly, you need to wipe your Facebook and Instagram clean of any incriminating photos. Even if you are legal of drinking age, you should avoid photos with alcohol unless they are very very classy. Every day when Facebook shows you your old memories, you need to take time to purge your cringe-worthy posts from high school. Moreover, any content with bad grammar should also be deleted. Secondly, you must optimize your LinkedIn profile. Add a professional headshot, fill in your employment history, write a killer summary, and build your profile up to 500 plus connections. When you have wiped your social media accounts, clean and optimized your LinkedIn profile, then you're ready for the next steps: content creation and relationship building. Number two, content creation. Students can benefit from sharing the thoughts via podcasts, medium articles or curated Instagram feeds. Focus in on your long-term goals and then reverse engineer a plan for the kind of content you want to create. For example, I am building a career in entrepreneurship. So my plan to write about to learn about entrepreneurship to do some interns and all. Young people often feel like they don't have enough life experience to build an audience, but But that's a misconception. You that excellent communicators. Just think of all the teenage YouTubers and Instagrammers who are followed by millions. Whether you want to write on any article or any podcast via Spotify or any other pro- pro- platforms, there are already students leveraging that platform. With enough planning, you can use your youth to your advantage and develop your own niche perspective. You that are creating valuable content every single day. and you too can build an audience online i believe that putting yourself out to the internet will most likely me make you a better version of yourself the reason i have to use the caveat of most likely is because there are people like logan paul who use their platform to bully others and post culturally insensitive rubbish however i'm going to assume that the most students reading an, an article about personal branding are mindful of their own reputation That's why I will argue that creating content makes you reflect on who you are and how you can become a better person. Building your personal brand forces you to think about what you want out of your life, and that's incredibly valuable. Crystallizing a plan to build your personal brand will benefit your future. Your plans might be in the right every day on Medium. Could email 15 professionals or add 100 connections on LinkedIn. your personal brand will say thank you and in the long run your wallet will also be happy students who have strong personal brand are more likely to launch themselves in their successful career 
Improving your personal branding is a kin is akin to preparing for a job interview months in advance. Relationship building. Another important aspect of personal branding is building key relationships. When you take on a new internship, it's your responsibility to shake hands and talk to co-workers around the water cooler. University isn't just for learning about calculus. It's also about making contacts that will one day land you a job. Many students are complacent about the network. They think that they don't know anyone and therefore they don't feel comfortable attending networking events. However, uh, I just published a few of my episodes below before so I think they can help you so much. So this is today's episode. Hope I can get some value added content for you. Thank you for listening. I am Aditya Mulukuri, the host of Tats Podcast. By the way, I am also a student uh, trying to build my own personal brand. I'm 